Hello, my name is Kalador and today I will be going through the obstetric history and I'll go through the obstetric history in detail and then I'll go through the obstetric history headings just, just so you can, just as a summary of the whole history. So to begin with, I'll just start with my disclaimer. Uh, the content of this video is not meant to be a substitute for professional advice and is not to be used for medical diagnosis and or medical treatment. I would not be held liable for misuse of this video for this purpose. Every effort has been made to make the content of this video accurate and error free. I will not be held liable for any inaccuracies that may arise or develop as new treatment guidance become available. Okay, now I've got the disclaimer out of the way. I'll begin. So, uh, talk about obstetric history. So, the obstetric history. Start off with intro. So, you introduce yourself. You confirm the patient's name and age. And then you ask the presenting complaint. So the presenting complaint in a pregnant woman who's, let's say, 36 weeks pregnant. Okay. So um, she's going to have bleeding or pain, most likely. So in bleeding, this can be due to antipartum hemorrhaging. Uh, if you get antipartum hemorrhaging, this can be due to placenta previa or it can be due to abruption, placental abruption. Um, you can also get pain such, such as headache or abdominal pain. And these both can be due to um, preeclampsia. You can get epigastric pain, preeclampsia. So I've talked about the presenting complaint. It can be bleeding or pain. And then, so you ask the woman, uh, can I get your name? Lucy, can I get your age? 37. How many weeks pregnant are you? 36. Uh, what, what's the problem? What are you coming with? I've got bleeding, I've got pain. And then you move on. Before you move on, you say, uh, she, she'll say something, so before she moves on she'll say something like I'm 36 weeks pregnant and I'm bleeding and I'm really worried that I might, my, my baby's not okay so to reply to that you say something empathetic um, so something like I understand it's very difficult for you and this is very worrying for you and for me to find out what's going on I need to ask you a range of questions that's the history I'd like to examine you, I'd like to do a scan and check the fetal heartbeat um, and I try to do the questions as soon as I can but please bear with me because there's a lot of questions to get through. So the question for the history of presenting complaint. Let's wipe this out. Okay, so history of presenting complaint. So if it's bleeding. Okay, so you got bleeding. Okay. So you ask, when did it start? How long has it been going on for? Um, so when did it start? How long has it been going on for? What's the timing? Is it bleeding all the time? Um, also ask, so when did it start? How long has it been going on for? Is it bleeding all the time? Have you noticed any clots? Um, have you used any pads? How many? Uh, and is there any pain? If there's pain, then you do a Socrates history. I can't. So you go for a pain history. So I call it Socrates abbreviation. I won't go through what that means in this video. And if there's headache, then you go through a headache history. Okay, so that's history of presenting complaint. Once that's done, I move on to last menstrual period. Last period. Um, history and I'll just explain what that is now so I asked when was your last menstrual period and then do you know how many weeks pregnant you are gestational age so and um, was this confirmed by scan okay so you ask them, when was your last period? Uh, what's the gestational age for your pregnancy? Was this confirmed by a scan? 
and then you can ask about um, so last menstrual period you can ask about uh, was your pregnancy planned planned if they say yes you can ask did you get any fertility treatment if they say pregnancy wasn't planned you can ask about contraception because there might have been contraception failure you can also ask at this point about previous me test in the UK uh, women have a SME test after the age from 25 onwards every three years and then when they get to 50 they have SME test every five years until maybe 64 so 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 far we've gone through presenting complaint history of presenting complaint last menstrual period history including um, the pregnancy was planned and then I go on to uh, so I've done the last menstrual period and I go into problems in pregnancy So problems in pregnancy, so you ask have you had any problems in pregnancy? She can be mean to you and say like what? Or she might just go into it straight away or she might say no Besides the bleeding and the pain So uh, problems in pregnancy include Diabetes, gestational diabetes High blood pressure um, High blood pressure, anemia, and any other problems. After that, so I move on to test. Test is in pregnancy. So I say, have you had your booking bloods? This in the UK, booking bloods. Have you had your 12 week scan, the nuchal scan? Have you had your 20 week scan, the anonymous anomaly scan? That's in the UK at that those dates, and were they okay? So if there's okay, if they were okay, that's we're showing. Also, you can ask, how's the placenta? So you can, they might not know, the woman might not know. So with the placenta, you'd ask. Um. So with the placenta, you'll ask, do you know where the placenta lies? Because it's placenta previa. Then, that's the baby. That's the placenta. And that's. The womb, the placenta can lie on the cervix right here, and that can lead to placenta previa, which that is placenta previa. So, you asked about the lie of the placenta. So, um, after that, I go into previous pregnancy. So, let's wipe this off. Previous pregnancy, so you ask them, have you ever been pregnant before? They could say yes. So previous pregnancy, have you been pregnant before? Yes. So you say, what was the outcome of the pregnancy? Was it a baby, miscarriage, or termination? They say miscarriage or termination, you say how many weeks was that at? If they say uh, they had a baby, you say, what was the delivery? Was it vaginal? Was it cesarean section? If it was vaginal, did you use forceps? If it was cesarean, was it elective? Or was it emergency? And then you ask them what was the emergency in cesarean section. Uh, going back to the previous pregnancy, so you ask, were you previously pregnant? They might say no. Then you ask, just for completeness, have you ever had a miscarriage or termination? Because they might not want to mention it to you. So that's previous pregnancies. We also ask about birth weight. Birth weight. Okay. And you ask, after the delivery, was baby and mum okay? So, so carrying on from where we left. Um, so far we've discussed obstetric history. We talked about presenting complaint, history of presenting complaint. Last menstrual period, problems in pregnancy, previous pregnancy. Now we're going to talk about resource status. So you ask the mother, do you know your resource status? She either does or she doesn't. Um, past medical history. Uh, in that, you take a surgical history. You ask about, did they have any clots in the lungs, the legs, uh, to do with DVTs, etc. Ask about whether they have, outside of the pregnancy, diabetes, 
whether they have outside of the pregnancy, if they have high blood pressure. So that's past medical history. Then we move on to family history. For that you ask, is there anyone in your family who's given birth to twins? Is there anyone in your family that's given birth to children with congenital abnormalities? So you they might not understand congenital word, but just say anyone born with abnormalities. You can also ask, has anyone in your family had gestational diabetes or high blood pressure during pregnancy? So that's family history. And then we move on to social history. For social history, you ask them, do you smoke? Do you drink alcohol? And then you ask about the home situation and the relationship and support situation. So for that, you'd ask social history. Do they smoke, drink alcohol? Also, do you use any recreational drugs? You have to ask that question. And then you ask, um, are you in a relationship? So if it's yes, you say, is the partner the father? If yes, then say, do you feel well supported at home? And then how are things at home? Uh, what kind of housing do you live in? And then if you go and ask, are you in a relationship? She says no. Ask, what's the father's involvement with the pregnancy? Again, if they feel supported at home, if they feel supported, like after they keep, deliver the baby, do they feel they have enough support? And also how things at home, what kind of house do you live in? Is it private accommodation? Is it a temporary council accommodation? So that's social history. And then we move on to drug history. Drug history, you ask them, are you on any medication? Um, and also, did they take folic acid? And... Do they have any allergies? So medication, folic acid, allergies. And that's your history done. Then you say to the mother, I've asked all the questions I need to. I'd like to examine you now, I do a scan and check for the fetal heartbeat. And then uh, you can summarize as well. So to summarize, I'll go through what we've discussed. So we've discussed presenting complaint, history of presenting complaint, last menstrual period, problems in pregnancy, test, previous pregnancies, we discuss research status, we discuss past medical history, family history, social history, drug history, and allergies. And that's your obstetric history completed. Thank you for watching. That's the end of how to take obstetric history. Thank you. Bye.